All right, it's telling me things have broken, but it looks like we're live according to YouTube. And you know what? That is what matters. Doesn't matter what Streamlabs says, as long as YouTube goes live, we're good. So, hope everybody is doing well tonight. We are going to be streaming Pokemon sculpting. Uh, this was a request I got a couple of live streams ago, and so I figured, you know what? It's time. Let's get into uh, sculpting Pokemon again. So, uh, we're going to be doing Psyduck and Togepi tonight. So it should be fun, should be pretty easy. Um, it's more of a sculpting forms reminder for me because I've taken a whole month off recently and it's been the last couple of weeks I haven't done a whole lot of art. So getting back into sculpting forms is kind of going to be the goal for today's live stream. So let me go ahead and, because uh, I'm an idiot and forgot to pull up my reference images for Psyduck and Togepi, let me pull those up and then we'll get sculpted. So give me just one second. All right, there we go. I got my images up. They're on one of my other screens. I'm not gonna put them on the screen. It's not worth it. So, it's weird. This is the first time I like scheduled a live stream and uh, getting likes before a video goes live was a weird, weird occurrence for me. So we're gonna start with Psyduck in just a second, but I want some water and then we'll get started. Okay, so pretty standard stuff. We are not going to be deleting this cube. However, we are gonna delete the camera and the light. I don't care about that. And we're gonna turn off specular lighting because I think that just plays with my mind as far as, <clears throat> excuse me, when I try to sculpt things, they don't turn out the way that I want them to uh, because the lighting has an effect on like what you see. So we're gonna have Psyduck and we'll just call this the uh, Psyduck collection as well. It's important to name it's definitely important to name your collections and your objects, um, especially as you sculpt more and create more objects in your scene. It becomes more and more important to do that. Uh, and then this is the Togepi. So here we go with Psyduck. We can go ahead and get started here. So simply tab into edit mode. And you know what? Let's bring in my screencast keys and turn them on. And then we should be able to do something like that. Close it. I don't know why it appears all the way down there and the bottom. Um, oh, that's significantly bigger than I wanted it. I wanted it down here, something like that. There we go. So now anybody who watches this later can come back in and figure out what I was doing. So, hope you guys are doing all right. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll select everything, merge at center, and then we're gonna apply some modifiers here. Now, with monster sculpting in general, my workflow is a bit different than with character sculpting. With character sculpting, if you've been in the past live streams, you know we create the base skeleton and then um, kind of break off different pieces and sculpt, or if I'm doing speed sculpting, we'll put pieces together overall. And so, monster sculpting for me is a bit more like speed sculpting where we just make a bunch of different pieces and then join them together with a boolean operator um, so that's what we're going to do so we are going to create the skin modifier here we're not going to add a mirror because we're not going to be mirroring anything on this um, but we do want a subdivision surface modifier here and then we can go ahead and hit Control a and just kind of bring out the body so this is going to count as psyduck's um body right off the bat and it's also going to be the object that we join all of the other pieces to as we get going let me know if you guys have any questions as we go through this i absolutely love answering any questions that anybody has about sculpting or blender if i can so don't feel like oh i don't have to i can't ask him what he's what he's doing all right so we're going to look at this from the right hand side here and then just extrude off a single vertex and you know what we can take it pretty much off up at the top here and we're going to extrude one down as well and then I'm going to select this single vertex right in here and we're going to mark that as a root and we'll pull this down a little bit further so that it's not a square base and then uh, Psyduck is very I'm going to say dumpling shaped meaning he's going to look very much like this 
uh, and it's kind of his body's kind of just like a, a giant what I would consider bow dumpling so we just need to essentially try to match that shape here Ooh, somebody subscribed you get a shout out to find out who you are lazy Gutama. absolutely thank you for subscribing I appreciate it there's a shout out thanks for hanging out uh, any exercises you recommend for improving sculpting skills? You're a beginner. Ruth Peterson Taylor, welcome to the stream. Thanks for asking your question. Uh, yeah, actually, what I'm doing right now, that's absolutely how I got started and how I recommend my students get started um, when I was teaching in high school, at the high school level, uh, is just sculpting Pokemon. Because one of the cool things about Pokemon is they're very, very simple shapes combined in ways that actually make something. And so you get to work on your shapes and forms so that your your sculpts actually get better over time. And then as you continue to grow, you will um, eventually then get into more anatomy and making things look better and overall, things like that. Okay. What if I make this the root here? And then we just puff him up. And let's jump in a wireframe real quick. Move this down just a bit. And I'm going to need to subdivide that. So we'll just right click and subdivide there. There we go. And we can subdivide again. And that's going to go ahead and pretty much give us Psyduck's general bow shape. Bo Nugget, welcome to the stream. Wish me luck while I take on the Nameless King. Who is the Nameless King? But good luck. And Ruth, sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of that. I think maybe we'll move this up and bring it in just a bit. Now, when we get into the actual sculpting of it, we'll we'll kind of make his bottom a bit more bottom heavy, um, and we will actually let's see if we can bring this in a little bit. on that y-axis because he's he's kind of very he's round but he's not like like a full bulb if we can do something like that and then maybe that is a bit tall so just bring this down and there we go i'm gonna say that is good for ah dark dark souls have fun with that i'll pass i'm not a very good gamer so <laughs> i uh I don't, I don't try to hurt myself when it comes to games. If I'm not, if it's not fun, I won't play. And Dark Souls, I can never imagine would be fun for me. But good luck and good on you for enjoying it. All right, so there's his body. Let's go ahead and just move this up on the Z-axis until roughly this bottom point here is connected to the point of origin. That should be fine. And we'll get in here and sculpt it, so it doesn't really matter. So then let's tackle the feet. So I'm gonna hide that and let's create a plane up in here. Look at it from the top. And we're gonna go ahead and just make Psyduck's foot. It's very, very easy to do this. So we will just uh, add in a couple of loop cuts here, except now I gotta use my mouse. So we'll just increase this to five loop cuts. There we go. And uh, we'll take this one, this one, and this one, and move them on the y-axis because he has three, uh, three pointed toes there. We're gonna scale these out on the x. And there we go. Cool. And turn on proportional editing, and move these back here. We don't want to go too far, but honestly, I th think that's probably okay for the bottom of his foot. And then we can add a couple of modifiers here. We will add a solidify modifier, make that thickness a bit bigger, something like that, and then add a subdivision surface modifier to it. Now at that point, let's move this back and then we can turn off proportional editing. 
And I think we can do something like that, just so it's not just at the bottom. And we can go ahead and increase that thickness a little bit more. Maybe 0.4. Yeah. I think that looks good. And Psyduck is a duck, so he's going to have some webbed feet. Um, so we're just going to need to make this section a bit bigger. Let me just look at this from the top here. Select these, just... And scale those out on that x-axis. And then we'll move these over a little bit because he does have claws, but they're also webbed. So there we go. I think with the subdivision surface modifier, that's going to give us a really nice uh, Psyduck foot. And I can grab this and scale this out a little bit on that x-axis just to match my reference image a bit more because this foot isn't really sharp. It's very much a rounded sort of foot. So we bring back the body, and then let's move this over on that x-axis and then apply a mirror modifier. Now, normally you'd want the mirror modifiers in different places in the stack. Uh, for example, if we were modeling on the left and the right side, we'd want the mirror modifier at the top. But for this, we just want to mirror it across Psyduck's body. And what that tells me is the foot is like kind of way too big for what we were doing. And then we can move this forward on that y-axis a little bit and rotate these out. And I think that's probably okay. Maybe move it up a bit. But that, to me, that looks like the proper width for Psyduck and his feet. Maybe we'll scale them down just a bit more. And there we go. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll eventually come in, sculpt the body, get the body shape exactly the way that we want, and then bully in the foot, the feet, onto uh, Psyduck. Or maybe we'll just leave them as separate feet if we don't want to, and then sculpt them separately. Who knows? I don't. We're just making this up as we go along. <laughs> All right. So for the next part, then we want to create the arm here. So it's going to be pretty much the same process. We'll create a plane uh, and then uh, merge it at center. Same process as we made for the body. So we'll merge that at center, extrude on that X axis over here, and then we want to apply a couple of modifiers. We'll apply the skin modifier and the subdivision surface modifier. And then basically it's just subdivide and shape. Now I'm going to take this. Let's go ahead and move this up over here. And uh, we can kind of put him out like that. And he doesn't really have wings. He has, like, fat, chubby little arms. So uh, that's what we're going to shoot for. Odyssey, welcome to the stream. Hello there. I hope you General Kenobi. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, Nameless King is finished. Congratulations. Glad, glad you made it. Ah, there we go. All right, and then we'll just kind of up this chubby little arm. And GG, which we can then use to move to the bottom here. And we can go ahead and we'll just scale those up. Because he really has he really has some fat. <laughs> he really has some fat arms. All right, so here's something that Psyduck actually has. Uh, we're gonna just pull this off in both directions here. This will be the root, mark root there. And uh, we also wanna mark it loose. Because he does kind of have these, like, this pouch of stuff. And I think that's pretty good for uh, for a sculpt, a, a sculpt base, at least. Alright, 
All right, let's go ahead and scale these to zero on the x-axis so that way they are perfectly lined up straight. There we go. That's that's even probably a bit too generous for his for his feet here. I think maybe it needs to go that high, and then we can fix this little area by just dragging those down. Okay, and then we'll add another mirror modifier so that this projects to the other side. And we need to, to bang out some of his fingers real quick. Here, let's do this though. So we'll do Alt R, which will remove the rotation. And then tab in edit mode, and then we'll just kind of extrude off a couple of points. Push those out a little bit, just like that. And that's, that's pretty much Psyduck's hand. All right, and then we'll mark this as loose on the skin modifier. Oop, and then we just need to subdivide. There we go. And now we've got Psyduck's hands done. Pretty quick, pretty painless. Overall, do something like that, I think. And then it's time for Psydex head. For that, we'll just add in a sphere because we don't need to get too crazy with it. So I'm just scale up a sphere here. And uh, then we're going to, he's got kind of an, an oblong head <coughs> or you got like a Hey Arnold football head, head. So I think maybe something like that and then come back into this body here. And then the last thing that we really need to do is uh, is make this beak and the hair tufts on the top of his head, and then we can get into to kind of sculpting it. Legendary Wolf, hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing? Are you, are you back at classes yet? I know you're in Florida. Are classes in person? Are you doing uh, classes online? What's that look like? I feel like this is like slightly too too fat but i don't know if that's just because oh that's better okay i don't feel so bad about it anymore i do think this is maybe too tall Okay, and then let's go ahead and make the beak. So we'll do Shift S, cursor to select it up here, and then we'll add in a plane. 
uh, and make the beak. Erwin Fuertes, welcome to the stream, man. How you doing? Legendary, you've been doing online. You're going to be on that for the next term, stuck in bed for another couple of months. Oh, no. what what's What's happened? Why are you in bed for another couple of months? That sounds terrible. Did you get mono? Did you kiss too many people? You got mono, didn't you? Man, I'm hoping you're all right. But we've been good. We've been good. I, uh... I just got hired for a new job, which is pretty awesome. Um, I talked about it a little bit last stream. So we will be more financially stable, which means I have more money to uh, not worry about life with and then make content better. So all in all, I think it's pretty good. Oh, man, you wish. Okay, well, at least you didn't get mono. I'm happy you didn't get mono. But yeah, I, under I understand that stuck at home bit. It's good that you're It's good that you're being stuck at home. Are, uh, are the people that are around you, are they also being stuck at home? All right, and then we'll extrude this down on that Z-axis a little bit. And there we go. We basically have a beak here. And we will let's go ahead and shape this, I guess. So GZ with proportional editing turned on. There we go, something like that. It's not a very not a very sharp curve. Um, and then we want to go ahead and Gonna want to bevel this out. Um, it's actually so I got my new job. Uh, I turned in a two-week notice, right? And when I turned in my two-week notice, the company that I was contracted out to reached out and said, "Hey, if we if we counteroffered, would you stay?" And so they matched the counteroffer, and I went from being a contractor to a full-time employee. Um, or I should say I'm going to be going from a contractor to an, a full-time employee because I got the intent to hire today, but the process hasn't hasn't gone through. It could take another couple of weeks for that process to just be completely finished. Uh, and then once once that's done, once that's done, I will... Um, I'll be doing, I'll essentially be doing the exact same thing. I'll just be getting paid like 40 grand more a year to do it, which will be really nice. <laughs> It'll be really nice. All right, so Sidek has this like, there we go. We can, we can and will finish sculpting that detail on here, but that's pretty much it. And I, I want to say, we want to come down here, turn off proportional editing, and then uh, grab these and pull them down just a bit. So, all right, cool. So we've got the basic outline of our Psyduck done. Psyduck does have a tail though. I totally missed that detail. How did I miss that detail? Ruth, if you're still here, do you see what I mean by like the Pokemon just have really basic forms and that's why they're a really good starting tool? All right, I'm gonna make the tail here. I'm gonna do plane, merge it at center. Skin modifier, subdivision surface. Extrude that back on that Y axis. Mark that one as the root. And 
and his tail is pretty fat. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big boy. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure this is at zero on the x-axis. It's not. There we go. Now it's centered on his body. Yeah, we can kind of take this down, but I'm gonna to need to subdivide in here. So let's go ahead and subdivide. We'll do it twice. That should be enough. All right, and there we go, we have a tail. Cool. And all of these things got added to the wrong collection, so now we can put them in the correct collection. Go ahead and turn off the Togepi collection for now, because it's not important. Okay, and that's basically it. We do have, we've got the tufts of the hair and the eyeballs. For the eyeballs, for our Wonderful little side deck here. We're just gonna hit Shift A, and no, we don't want a plane. We want some UV spheres. Let's move this up over here, and we want to add a mirror modifier here. And this time we're gonna model uh, across the body. We don't want a mirror across the head because the head isn't going to be there forever. Um, so we just want to make sure that the point of origin is mirroring across is this body because every, all of these additional pieces we are going to join to the body itself. So now when we move this thing forward and move it over on the x-axis, we've got some Psyduck eyes. And I'm half tempted to keep Psyduck's eyes out here. They're not quite out this far. They are out pretty far. I think, I think the center of the eye, well, we need to scale it a little bit on that x-axis because they're a bit oblong. Scale it a little bit down on the Z. And it's kind of Perry the Platypus right now. And now that's Psyduck. And there we go. We can scale the whole thing down just a bit. So, Adorno, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Pandy, welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. Pandy's my wife. She's so sweet. She's like sitting in the same office as me on her machine. And she's got me... Uh, that's so nice. Got to get that watch time. I mean, not anymore, but a while ago I did. All right, cool. So now we've got our Psyduck eyes in there, and we can go ahead and rotate this out a little bit. I think it'll make Psyduck look a little bit dumber. Because <laughs> he's, he's pretty dumb. All right, cool. And the final piece, we just want those tufts of hair. So this one will be a plane, and then we will leave it as a plane. Tab into edit mode, rotate this on the x-axis, 90 degrees, there we go. Everything's good here and there. Um, I'm, I'm doing all right. You're working on your game slowly. Adorno, have you talked about your game? What do you actually, do? You, have you told me what you're actually working on? Or has that been more of a, like a, just something you've been working on in the in the past? I try to remember what you guys tell me, so that way we can talk about it on stream. And it's it's better than me just sitting here walking through the process of of what I'm doing. Okay. So we're gonna actually need three tufts of hair here. Let's move this into there make sure we're adding new things here and the reason we're gonna need three is that we can scale these in on the x-axis and then we can rotate them over and then add a solidify modifier and let's check out how thick these things are I think they're I think that's honestly that's probably okay and then Kind of take these up and we can add in a couple of 
loop cuts here. There we go. And then it looks like they have some curve to them. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn on proportional editing and then move it back on that Y axis and we'll, or maybe we don't want to move it. Maybe we just want to rotate it on its X axis and then move it on the Y. And there we go. We got the Psyduck tuft one and then just duplicate that and rotate that on the Y. And then duplicate and rotate on the Y. I think maybe I'll move them forward. That should be fine. You said a little bit here. It's a tiny little project on uh, up BGE. BGE is alternative for Blender. Okay. It's a pretty nice tool. Fortunately, you're rewriting some logics in Python. Oof. All right. I think this one, and then we can, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to come in here and move that one back. And I think maybe we will kind of shorten this one. I don't know. We just want to make them like different enough. Okay, cool. So Psyduck is basically laid out, but uh, let's go ahead and get started with sculpting. So we can go ahead and apply these subdivision surface modifiers, and then we're gonna go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five, five Boolean modifiers, which we will add um, and apply at different points. But this way we just have them added. All right, so let's switch over to sculpting and turn on dynamic topology and then I have my detailing set to brush detail just because brush detail is better for sculpting in my opinion with dynamic topology um, because it lets you control the size of the topology that is created with the size of your brush rather than based on how far zoomed in or out you are. Um, I mean it does still affect things sometimes based on how far zoomed in or out you are but it's a bit finer control than just relying on that zoom for relative detail. And it doesn't constrict you like with constant detail. All right. And then, you know what? Let's go ahead and do some things. I want to sync up the strength between all of my brushes. And we can go ahead and drop the strength down for the rest of this inflation. And then we can smooth it all down and We'll just try to get the general. The general shape of Psyduck. OK, and I don't I don't think he's like I don't think he's dummy thick. It's a weird thing to say about a Pokemon, I guess. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I think it's accurate. I don't, I don't think he's quite dummy thick. I do. My wife can't handle the fact that I keep calling a Pokemon dummy thick. She's like chuckling in the background. You guys probably can't hear, but.
Okay. And that's pretty much it. Like, his body is pretty much that way. I do want to smooth up some of these transitions, though. So let's grab the clay strips brush here. And I want to make sure we turn off the radius bullcrap that, that for some reason people like. All right, and from the bottom, I think he looks pretty good. Get rid of those feet. Let's just uh, want him more rounded. I don't want him to appear super rectangular. Did I mess that up with the uh, clay strips? Did I turn off the wrong thing? Nope, okay, didn't have to, cool. I did turn off the wrong thing. It's on the wrong brush. Do I sculpt uh, like along the week? That depends. Usually my week is uh, like the, the time during the week is spent more trying to figure out what my next video is going to be. So like, and practicing for the video because I try to do my videos as I'm actually doing it. So I, I don't know if you can tell the, the, the train of thought that happens in a video is very much what I'm thinking about as I'm doing it. And uh, my videos turn out a lot more with my speaking pattern like this uh, because I'm I'm not focusing so much on what I have to say, but showing you guys what I have what you have to do in order to actually achieve what I'm trying to do. And maybe I should change that, but as a result of that, my weeks are usually spent prepping for that video. So like I have been preparing this week for the video next week on retopping the head. We've got a different video planned um, for Thursday. But I've got a video, uh, but the retopping the head for the character creation course, I've been practicing with that one, just retopping the head. I've done it probably four or five times now, just perfecting it, or at least getting it to where I'm really happy with making a tutorial about it. Um, and then after that, I'll be doing the shirt and then the hands and whatever. So, Max Matthews, welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, let's jump back to object mode real quick, and we're going to just set this up a little higher and move these over on the x-axis there so that the feet fully connect with the bottom of our duck. But I do try to, I don't know, I should try to sculpt more. I just feel like by the time, because like where I'm sitting right now is where I sit all day long, every day, now that we're all working from home. Um, so like by the time I finish here i have zero desire or almost zero desire to stay in here and continue working and sculpting things but i'm trying to get back into it okay so we're going to use the first of the boolean modifiers so select the head object here and then we're going to set this to union which as you can see changes the outline of our blender file here or of our psyduck body and then we can hit apply and now when we go back into sculpt mode it's all a part of the same mesh. So we can turn on dynamic topology and then come back in here and just kind of inflate these changes all the way around. And then smooth it all out so it's a smooth transition. But like I sculpted I sculpted a couple of things yesterday. They were they were they weren't great. <laughs> They weren't great. I realized that like, I I haven't sculpted in a while. I did nothing when I took my month off, and then I really haven't done a whole lot of 
sculpt practice on my own since I've come back. So my, my face sculpts yesterday were not great. They were okay. They were okay. They weren't terrible. But I wasn't super happy with them. Panty says they were good, but that's just because she can't sculpt. And she's my wife, so she's biased. All right, and if we turn this smooth, turn on smooth shading, what's our Psyduck look like? Psyduck looks like this, and we have some problems with this area down in here because this should be a very smoothed out transition. It shouldn't be lumpy like that. So we're just gonna inflate and then smooth all that down. You ask because you got rusty, but you gotta practice more too. Your video is inspiring. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I need to practice. I I need to practice, but because I I don't know. I don't like to specialize. So like in what was it last week's live stream? Right, I modeled, textured, and animated out a door. Um, so like I've just I've just kind of been a generalist my entire life with almost everything I do. And I feel like my blender skills are kind of in that same spot. Like I'm gonna be okay at modeling, I'm okay at sculpting, okay at texturing, and okay at animation, but I don't think I'm ever gonna like master one of them. And I'm, I'm kind of okay with that because to do what I wanna do and create the stuff that I wanna create, I kinda have to be able to either pay a bunch of people, which I don't have the money for, or I have to be able to do it myself. So, Sy Sith, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm doing all right, Sai. I am doing all right. Okay, so we've got the Psyduck basically functioning. Um, let's go back to object mode here. And we wanna position these just a bit better. I think, I think they kind of position out like that. And then forward, uh, maybe they need to scale back up. And I think they should maybe be, maybe be forward a bit more. I think the important thing is that they're long enough for him to like sigh his head, you know? And I think they are long enough for that. So this should be fine. Something like that. All right, cool. So now we'll use the second of our Boolean modifiers, change it to union and select the arms. And honestly, I think Yeah, that's probably okay. Once I bully on them, you know, you can't go can't go back, so wanna make sure it's it's good. But alright, there we go. Apply it. It's gonna be good enough for me. Go ahead and hide that one, and then go back here and get back into sculpting. Dynamic topology and get in here with the inflate brush. Yeah, so I've been doing good, man. I just got uh, just got confirmation on uh, on the on the job that I was waiting for. Confirmation on. So uh, pretty big increase in pay coming my way shortly. Which is good cuz I got a new editor and they get paid in euros. And euros are better than the dollar. 
so my editor is more expensive <laughs> than it used to be. So, Odyssey, you always make a save before dueling a Boolean. That would be smart, but we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> No guts, no glory, you know? Worst thing that can happen is that we just we just delete the arm and, and bully in it again. And there we go. Very, very simple arm. I think that's pretty much it. Let's go and grab the uh, clay strips brush here. And I'm really excited, guys. I, I'm, I don't want to spoil it yet because I don't want to be like, I'm doing this and then I don't do it. But I think, I think my wife and I mapped out a plan for the YouTube channel for next year and I'm real excited I'm real excited for the new direction I mean we're gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing tutorials and stuff and I'm gonna keep doing live streams and stuff but we're adding something to the channel and I'm really excited about it so I'm hoping I'm hoping that by 2021 uh, things have worked out the way that I want them to so that we can add that thing to the channel Really excited about it. All right, cool. So Sidex got his arms now. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. YM Productions, multi talent company. Nice work, looking pretty good. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. All right, the last thing we've got to sculpt is the beak. I'm going to leave the eyes as they are. This is fine. Shade them smooth. Grab all three of these. We'll shade those smooth, too. And then the feet. I suppose we can also shade smooth. And there we go. I could bully in the feet to the body, but... Honestly, I don't feel like there's a real need for it. All right, and for the beak, I guess, nope. Let's uh, go ahead and add it. There we go. Do a union and apply. And then I guess we don't need all those extra bullions. I added more than I thought I would. Uh oh, I think I think the faces are off. Let me check that. Yes, all those faces are wrong. There we go. That face orientation thing is one of the coolest things about Blender 2.8. I don't know how to say that, but hi, welcome to the stream. And I don't want to mispronounce it. Ten aimed, ten aimed. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I pronounced your name wrong. Skyo, welcome to the stream. Call me Ten. All right, Ten, how you doing tonight?
Huh. You almost never see side, the bottom of Psyduck's mouth. But I just got this feeling that it's like, it's just as like weird as the top. So we're gonna do something like this. Let's kind of beef out the bottom here. I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right, 10. Feeling pretty good, enjoying sculpting this. Pokemon sculpts are always so fun. In fact, when I, when I do my monster sculpt course, Honestly, I'm thinking about uh, like having people follow along with either Pokemon creation or getting a custom, getting a custom Pokemon created because they're a lot of fun to sculpt, and they're really good for monster sculpts because they're monsters. But how are you in 10? I, you're in part 5, so I imagine you are enjoying the uh, you're enjoying the character creation series. I'm glad you made it that far. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it. YM Productions, have I thought about making an animation short film? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I've thought about it significantly in the in the recent in the recent days. So, it's probably going to happen. It probably will happen and as I get bigger in YouTube, like my my plan is to be able to do YouTube and make animations and tutorials and stuff more often, um, and then like partner with some other other Blender guys and some whatever and build my team. So yes, eventually we'll be getting there. But right now I'm just making tutorials and courses on Skillshare, and it's working out. All right, that is way too big so let's take this down and then I think this probably that could be smoothed out better there we go there's a realistic side duck duck sign okay uh, sky oh this guy's called Psyduck. Hola from Mexico. Genshi Studio, welcome, welcome to the stream, dude. Check out your channel. Do you have a channel? I want to check you out. Give me a second. You do have a channel. Dude, your art is really good. Subscribed. I like it. You're going to have trouble getting monetized, though. <laughs> Based on your cover art. <clears throat> Alright, so there we go. We got Psyduck done. 53 minutes. Boom. Done. Psyduck. Ah, oh, dang it. We forgot the tail. Never mind. We're still going. <laughs> and I got rid of all the booleans. So let's add here. There we go. I guess you could say we're at the tail end of this sculpt. Boo. 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 Did you hear that? Even my wife is booing you. <laughs> we heard your wife. <laughs> DJ, welcome to the stream. How you doing? 
Scythus, I, I hope you never regret any of those bad puns. And I hope that you continue to tell them, even though we will continue to boo you. Greetings from Brazil. Dude. Tin, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of those tutorials. Let me know if you have questions. I always try to answer out legitimate questions in the comments or in my Discord. If you post up questions there. YS Books, welcome to the stream. You just posted your first episode of your web series. It's based on your book series. You're an author. So be kind. Dude, awesome. Did you post... YS, did you post that in the Discord? Where are we going to find your... Where are we finding your stuff? In truth, I've started about... I've thought about writing a web novel or like working on a web novel that I'll, I would then eventually turn into an animation on my YouTube channel. Um, like a 3D animation. Thought about doing that. But I am I am not what you would call an author. I'm not a bad writer. I'm not a bad writer. I'm not a great writer. My wife is a great writer. And she has a book coming out very, very soon that I will be recommending in the Discord. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I, I suppose I'm a little biased, but whatever. Randy Galeo. G Galego. Gal Galago? Hope I said that right. Sorry if I butchered your name. Watch from the Philippines. Thanks for watching. This channel needs to have its own legendary meme like the donut with Blender Guru. Dude, I fucking hate the donut. It's so dumb. The Donut is the dumbest tutorial series ever. I, I watched his tutorial series. Now, don't get me wrong. Blender Guru is amazing. I'm not bashing Blender Guru. I'm bla bashing the Donut tutorial because what it, in my opinion, the Donut tutorial series, it, it gets people into Blender, which is, I suppose, its point. But it doesn't teach them shit about how to use Blender. And so you, you get, like, all of this additional stuff that, like, you know, they, they learn a little bit about everything, but they have no understanding of how things actually work in Blender. And so they, God, they just like, they, they come out of that tutorial series and they're like, yeah, cool. I made this donut with sprinkles, but like, that's all they know how to do. And they don't know how to make anything else. And it's a, in my opinion, it's a bad tutorial series because it doesn't teach people how to actually use the software and create the things that they want to create. It teaches them about a little bit of some other stuff. So like, you know, you model the donut, cool, you render the donut, there's lighting involved, and so you learn very, very basic stuff. I just freaking hate the donut. Blender Guru is awesome. I learn a lot from that dude. But the donut series, to me, every time I see someone like, I completed a new donut, I'm like, welcome to Blender, you know nothing. It's so dumb. It's so dumb, I hate the Blender, or the donut, it's so dumb. But, Skyo, I'm definitely open I'm definitely open to the idea of creating some type of meme like with the donut. I'm open to it. I'm open to it. So, uh, you know, let me let me know what your ideas are. Hit me with your ideas on what we should do series on, and then I'll just do series on that. You're an animator as well. You're working on three animation short films. You're just not a big YouTuber. You're currently remodeling your studio located in... Uh, CT looking for new talent. Really? Well, I would... Yeah. How Do you have a YouTube channel? I guess... I don't want to... Let me just quickly search your name up. Okay, so you're just getting started. Nice. Just getting started. Donut car? Ooh, that could be fun. <laughs> Donut car. I'm in love with that idea as a fat man and as someone who likes weird things. Donut car, good idea. Donut car doing donuts, that's the tutorial series. We'll just we'll just blender guru to the infinite or to the squared power. It'll be great. Nah, I freaking hate the donut tutorial. It's so bad. 
it's a good tutorial. It gets people in it. And you know what? I think that's that's awesome is that it gets people into Blender and like in very, very quickly they get their first render. And if that helps people get going and like get started learning the rest of it, that's fantastic. But also they don't learn anything. So they finish that tutorial and they come watch one of my tutorials, which aren't which are like meant to be watched in a playlist. Because I, when I started this, I was like making it for high school students who were watching them in order, um, and they get to my videos and they're like, "Dude, you're not you're not teaching me anything, or I don't know how to do this." You're like going way too fast for beginners. This is terrible for beginners. And I'm like, "Well, no, you need to watch the whole playlist because it's going to teach you." But maybe I'll go back and do a full modeling series on uh, a full full modeling series, something like the donut. So if you have an idea, here, here's what would be awesome, Skyo. Let me know. Or anyone else in this chat. I'm, I'm up. I'm up for it. Um, if you guys have an idea of what you think would help um, would help absolute beginners like learn how to just model, right? I don't want to get into texturing. I don't... Well, maybe, maybe the course would then get into texturing. Um but like a full course. Because I'm planning something on Skillshare right now, um, and Skillshare is gonna cover like all of the modeling tools. We're gonna model three or four different objects. We'll model like a lamp, um, a lamp, a vehicle, a bookcase, something, and, and one other thing. And like, they're gonna learn all of the modeling tools. And by the end of the course, they're gonna know how to model anything in Blender. Um, so if you guys wanna, if you had an idea for like, this would help people, let me know. Something that's going to teach them everything they need to know. Um, and they're going to walk out and it's going to be like, okay, this is this is a good series. Because I'd be down for that. But... Uh, there we go. Psyduck. Oh, and these are the feet. So we'll just leave these as feet. And make them the child of Psyduck. And delete those objects. So we can go ahead and just move this over on that x-axis because now we're going to make Togepi. And Togepi is really, really cute, but it's going to be another one of those pretty quick ones, I think. Because um, Togepi is basically a sphere where we've pulled out like some crowns and stuff. Wait, what if I get every, every sculpt tool, an object I made, and add a particle system and make a collection. And that collection is made out of a donut and large sprinkles. And all of the objects and things that I've ever sculpted are those sprinkles. Hmm. Nah. I don't know. I just want, I want people to learn how to use the software so they don't like, so I, so I stop getting, I stop getting like friggin' you're a terrible tutorial maker because I don't know how to use this software and I'm too dumb to learn. I don't want to watch through a whole playlist. I just want one video. I'm not bitter. <laughs> All right, moving on. I'm, I'm out of this stupid. I'm out of that. I'm, I'm done. I'm done bashing that stupid video. Okay, so Togepi, why did I create a plane? That was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done is made a UV sphere. <laughs> And then tab in edit mode, and there we go. Move everything up, turn off proportional editing. Go ahead and scale this up a bit. You're a filmmaker for movies, producer, producer director, actor, You're currently working in animations, recruiting. Just not a lot of talent where you're located. Yeah, I feel that, man. 
I feel that. Um, well, I'm not. I am not looking to join another team at this time, and I'm not looking for someone else on my team right now, just because I don't have money to pay people. Um, but you get big enough on YouTube, and I would love to collab with you. We'll just do that. I'd definitely be down to collab on something. Make a nugget. Make a nugget. Bo Nugget, get out of here. Here, wait, I got you. Right here. You add in a thing, and then you're like, all right, a nugget, and uh, we'll go with a gemstone. Boom. And then it's almost like a nugget. Ah, you know what? That's not a nugget. That's a gem. All right, here's a nugget. We'll add in a rock. Look at that. Now, all we do, we go down here, material, boom. Gold. Boom. There's your nugget. Congratulations. Tutorial series done. You mastered Blender. All right, so Togepi is, yeah, this is pretty much it, I guess. Pretty much. We'll, uh, we'll scale that up a little bit more. And uh, let's take this. Turn on proportional editing, GZ. And something, something like that. Because this is the eggshell. Model the blender window. Like, Inception style? Okay. So, like, actually what I'm working in right now, model that. Got it. A plane and then paint it. Hand paint it. Perfect. All right, so we have the eggshell. And I guess Togepi should, like, sit inside the eggshell. That makes sense, right? That makes sense to you? It makes sense to me. UV sphere. And, uh, nope. Boom. Togepi's head. And it's just kind of flat. So we'll flatten out his head. And, uh... Actually, can I do Shift-Z? Yeah, there we go. Something like that, I think, maybe. And then we're, we're not gonna... Uh... All right, let's just get in here and, and sculpt this junk. Not gonna worry about it. Do a little bit of a different order than we did last time. Yep, there we go. You didn't delete the default cube. Noise. All right, cool. So we need the eggshell pieces to just kind of like come up here. And I think probably the best way that I'm gonna be able to do that, we're just gonna like use the snake hook brush and pull up some some eggshell things. There we go, something like something like that. Well, hit me up then, uh, YM Productions. You can check out my About tab, and you'll find my business email there. So just hit me up with a, with what you want to talk about.
and we can we can take it offline take it to a professional email setting i'm not i'm not sure if i'll have the time or ability but i'm definitely interested in the conversation Are you the only one that doesn't delete the default queue but subdivides it three times so that it's a sphere and then sculpts it? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just go to the sculpting? Why wouldn't you just go to the sculpting uh, workflow when you start out? Then you get your quad sphere. It's habitual. I mean, I guess. I guess I can see that. I guess I can understand. I think it's weird. You have the option to just go to a sculpting thing. But I don't I don't usually delete the default cube, but I I don't subdivide it and start sculpting. I usually use the default cube for like a base whatever base mesh I'm like trying to work on. You know what? Let's turn off smooth shading. I'm not a huge fan of smooth shading. I'm also not a huge fan. I'm a person. You always delete everything and then add in a new cube. You know, you can set your your startup file to just be the like the just like a blank cube. You don't have to you don't have to delete the startup cube. You know, you could you could just change your startup file and be done with it. These are the unwritten rules of Blender. Okay, so you're just following the unwritten rules then. It's like a sheep. You're just a sheep. And not even the bad kind of sheep. If that didn't make everybody unsubscribe right there, I'd be really, <laughs> I'm really lucky. That was a bad joke. All right, cool. So we got our eggshell. That's, that's pretty much it. You saw the April Fool's joke. The title was how to delete the default cube. God, that's so wonderful. Don't be sheepish about your puns. <laughs> that was perfect. Well done. Well done. Like a... Like an overcooked rack of lamb. Ooh. Okay. And I kind of want to drop this down a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to scale. I just think the, the bottom of the egg here is too... Ah, shoot. I used the wrong tool. And then let's change this to scale.
feel like this is more realistically an egg. Or at least the bottom of an egg. Oh, yeah? Alright. Back to object mode. All right, so we need feet. Feet here are gonna be very easy. We'll just do what we did the last time. So, um, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and hide these. Now, Togepi's feet are very, let's turn off proportional editing. They are very like rounded, like half a hot dog bun shape. So something like that. And I think maybe we can do something like that. Select everything and extrude up. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We'll leave that in place. And we'll just add the modifiers. Uh, but I won't be able to, oh, whatever. Togepi, this is feet now, and then can add a mirror modifier. And his, his feet are weirdly far apart. Do I need a degree to get a job such as a character designer, VFX artist, etc.? Skyo, the answer to that is a bit complicated because technically no. Technically no. You, um, with art, you can get a degree or you can just build a really, really solid portfolio and then you'll be fine. Um, technically. And then, so as long as your portfolio is good enough, you could send your portfolio around um, to companies and they could take a look at it and be like, okay, well we, you know, he, he's good enough for this job. Um, but that is, that is kind of like on an in-person basis. The benefit of getting a degree is more for the connections that you make in school. Um, because once you know those people, if they get jobs, you can, hey, here's my, portfolio here's my resume can you share this around and help me out here uh, and so you make those connections and those connections are worth it school isn't necessarily worth it but those connections make it worth it um, especially since we have things like Udemy and Skillshare where you can learn whatever you need to learn as long as you can practice on your own you can compete with the best of the best um, you know given if you have the talent and the skill So yeah, technically you don't need a degree, but 
it's still a really good idea to get one because I don't I don't know what the art um, I don't know what the art world is like as far as degrees go, but most companies, especially the bigger they are, want people with more uh, education and formal training. All right, actually, I'm going to delete this. I'm not a, not a fan of how that turned out. So let's do, let's make a plane. We'll do this the other way. Merge that at the center. Skin modifier, subdivision surface mod, control A. What about schools like Anim School? I have no idea. I have no idea. I mean, really a degree is a degree. Like here, here's the thing, Skyo, a degree is a degree. And as long as you have a degree, people don't care. And this is one of those things that like people don't really notice, but until they're in the industry and they're like, oh, why did I spend so much money on a degree? Um, but yeah, like once you're, once you're in the industry, nobody cares. They just want to know if you can do the work that they, uh, that they are hiring you to do. Uh, that's better. And now I can put like. I think this is a bit too big though. All right, cool. I can apply these now and let's get in here. And sculpt. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to make it look like the shell is sticking into the side. Of our togepi here. Ah, that is the scale. So let's go ahead and scale them out just a bit further. And then change it be the tri-scale grab again. I 
All right, Skyo, thanks for hanging out, man. See you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day or night, depending on what time zone you're in. Okay, cool. So now we're going to add Togepi's crown here. He has uh, a horn coming off in each direction. I don't know if it really qualifies as a horn, but he's got these like head spikes for sure. So there are spikes for sure, maybe a horn. Something like that. Thanks, Adorno. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good time. Good day. Good night in Brazil. Have a good night. Yeah, you're in Brazil. I just feel like it's too white, and I'm not sure why. Just change the matte cap up here. There we go. Right, and Togepi's mouth is right in here, so we'll just carve this out right like this. That's kind of creepy. What if that's all Togepi was? What if that's just like what you saw? All right, so now we can go ahead and add in another UV sphere. Scale this thing way down. Togepi has these like these eyes just like this. That just kind of looks like a magic cart in a shell. So we're going to go back in and clean this up again. I'm just going to fix this. We'll bring it back out. Togepi's mouth. I 
feel like maybe I didn't take the shell up tall enough. But whatever. All right, now we'll make the final adjustments here for the arm. And what, a mirror modifier, mirror across the shell, skin modifier, and subdivision surface. Okay, there we go. We've sculpted our Psyduck. Actually, let's go ahead and parent everything. No, sorry. Togepi. And there we go. And I suppose at this point, our uh, our sculpting session is done. We've got some forms done. I'm not sure who's all stuck around from the very beginning, but uh, but there we go. I have fulfilled my requested stream. If you guys have any stream ideas that you would like to see in the future, let me know. Um, and I will do my best to make it happen. So. But yeah, Ruth, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hopefully that helps. Let me know if uh, you have any more questions about like what you should sculpt, but definitely try sculpting Pokemon. Excellent stream. Well done, Bo. Oh! Well done. <laughs> Dragon Eye, thanks for stopping by. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the compliment as well. So yeah, the only thing I, I don't like about this, I think the Psyduck's bill may be a bit long. I think that's it. I think that's really the only thing I don't like about this overall. Uh, but for the most part, I think I, I think I nailed these characters uh, adequately. And Togepi, I'm not. I'll be honest, I'm not too happy about. Um, I think the shell. I think I messed up on the shell, and uh, I could have done better with that. But other than that. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it overall. So. Cool. All right, well, we got another video coming out on Thursday. So if you enjoyed the stream, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, anything you guys put on there uh, helps the algorithm, I guess. 
Uh, got another video coming out on Thursday talking about how I have a like photography studio render setup. So that video should be pretty cool if you're looking to render more uh, professional photo shoot style um, things with your characters or if you're like a school day picture type of thing. That video is coming out on Thursday. And then uh, next week starts phase two of the character creation course. We'll be getting into the retopping the character and then unwrapping the character, texturing, and then what everybody's been asking for, applying a rig. And uh, so it should be should be a lot of fun. Uh, and we got a lot of good stuff coming in the in the coming days. So it's been fun, guys. This stream is essentially over though. We finished Psyduck, we finished Togepi. And if you guys have requests for streams in the future, let me know. Otherwise, I'm Sir Pinkbeard. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.